Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome back to the channel. What you're seeing now is a conventional fuel supply system in diesel engines. But this system is not preferred today because of its complications, which eventually gave rise to other types of injection systems. In this video, we'll be discussing one such injection system called the electronically controlled unit injector system. In the conventional systems, the fuel is taken from the fuel tank by the lift pump and it is further pressurized and metered in the injection pump. The pressurized fuel is sent to the injection nozzle through high pressure lines. Transferring the pressurized fuel through narrow lines may result in complications. In order to avoid this, a unit injector system is used. A unit injector is a compact component which integrates the injection pump and the injection nozzle as a single unit and so it reduces the need for high pressure lines. The unit injector was first developed in the 1930s and at that time it was completely mechanical in operation. For injecting the right amount of fuel at the right time, the electronically controlled unit injectors were developed in 1994. In vehicles which use unit injector systems, each cylinder is provided with an individual unit injector which is placed over the cylinder head. An electronically controlled unit injector consists of an injector pump, high pressure solenoid wall and an injection nozzle. The injection pump is placed over the nozzle and a high pressure solenoid is placed like an overhung attachment inside the injector housing. The injector pump is a high pressure pump which consists of a plunger and a barrel. The camshaft drives the injector pump by means of a rocker arm and push rod. This injection pump can pressurize the fuel up to a maximum of 2000 psi. The high pressure solenoid valve is controlled by the electronic control unit. The ECU receives signals from various sensors and determines the amount of fuel to be injected and the timing of injection. The nozzle injects the pressurized fuel into the engine cylinder. In addition to this, there are fuel inlet and return passages and there is a spill control valve that allows the fuel to return. A low pressure fuel pump supplies the fuel to the injector assembly through the fuel passages. The fuel enters the pump during the upward motion of the plunger and returns through the spill control valve when the plunger moves down. The solenoid valve gets energized after it receives signals from the ECU. It closes the spill valve and the lowering of the plunger will pressurize the fuel at this time. The increased pressure will eventually open the nozzle and thus the fuel gets injected. When the solenoid valve gets de-energized, the spill valve will open again and the fuel gets returned to the tank through the return passage. The energization of the solenoid valve determines the amount of fuel and timing of fuel injection. The electronically controlled unit injection system has several advantages. Some of them are improved power, better fuel efficiency, and lesser vibrations. But this system also has its own disadvantage. As the injection pump is operated by the cam, the injection pressure varies with the engine speed. Hence, the fuel injection pressure will be lesser at lower speeds. And in order to overcome this, modern vehicles use a common rail direct injection system, which can inject fuel to cylinders at high pressure, irrespective of engine speed. If you want to know how CRDI works, please check out our video on it. The link is in the description below. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Wait for more interesting videos in the upcoming days. Until the next one, bye.